the Dragon Knight armor set. It was announced officially by Ubisoft a few days ago, and it will be hitting the Helix store on March 22nd, a couple weeks after the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC release. And thanks to Pedder and Ibsarp, we've actually got a first look here, so we don't have to wait all that time and check out this ability. You can literally conjure a ring of fire to explode against your enemies, and it's not small, by the way. It's absolutely massive. In fact, there's even more Dragon Fire abilities on the weapons in this set, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, let's take a look at the armor sets as they're the ones responsible for this Ring of Fire activation. Similar to the new generation of Helix armor sets, Ubisoft are running with two variants in their packs, and this theme continues here. We've got the more traditional looking Shining Dragon Knight armor set, even though I say traditional, it's still cold. And then we've also got the more fanciful version called the Blood Dragon Knight armor set. But let's take a perusal at the Shining set first. It's supposedly being crafted out the fangs of dragons and I'd go so far to say that it looks like an armor set from the Dark Souls games or even Skyrim particularly the helmet with those dragon horns ominously protruding from the back of the head but moving on to stats and this is where the ring of fire ability comes from we have an increase in plus 15 fire buildup and another plus 15 in fire buildup resistance when we actually equip the whole set this contributes to the ring of fire that explodes after a five second delay when activating the melee fire strike ability in your ability wheel which as you can see here slowly pulsates on the ground before it actually erupts dealing damage to everyone inside it and slightly outside it which is very cool now the only difference between the shining and the blood armor sets apart from the obvious aesthetic differences is that instead of the fire build and fire build up resistance stats they're substituted for an increase in fire damage and fire damage resistance on the blood armor set in my opinion that's what i'd run with if you're planning on pulling the trigger on this set you're going to want to do as much fire damage as possible with the ring of fire ability but unfortunately it is a 30 second cooldown so we can't have it all however However, this blood armor set really is something to look at to be fair even if you don't like these heavily orientated fantastical armor sets in Valhalla it does grab your eye and I will give it that particularly the right arm which seems to be transformed into some sort of lava dragon hide and the hooded cape design with the red outline on the tip of the hood itself I actually think that looks pretty decent to be fair especially as there's no cape attached in this set which is the same as the lunar armor set I covered in another video but a final two aesthetic points here which are noteworthy the horns on this set are fractured and tinted with fire which really is quite unique for a helmet and the forged chain pattern around the robe builds on this fantasy set and actually looks pretty decent in my opinion and that's coming from someone who still runs with the ultimate set as my main and by the way i have actually just launched a brand new dawn of ragnarok dlc giveaway you just need to be a subscriber of the channel and the link to enter is in the pinned comments down below so good luck now as for the weapons we've got two here in this pack but let's tuck into the great sword first it's called the worm cutter and it's forged from dragon bone and imbued with the essence of a dragon itself apparently it certainly does look like a solid weapon to be fair and it should do because combined with the ring of fire proc from the armor set bonus we just discussed this sword spits out additional fire in an area effect format when succeeding in landing a heavy finisher attack and from what we can see here from peda and ibsarp it looks like it's a horizontal line when it does proc now next up is the one-handed axe called the scale carver it's described as being used to descale dragons and i've got to say the engraved detail on the side of this weapon as well as the scaling effect on on the handle and hilt it's good detail i can appreciate that even though i'm never going to buy this set unless it all drops within red Earth by the end of the year but yeah highly unlikely but effect wise we've got another fire ability bonus here where you land another heavy finisher you're going to get fire erupting from the ground so if you manage to time this right alongside the ring of fire proc you're going to be standing in gazes of fire and lava while you 360 no scope everyone in a 50 yard radius but you don't need me to tell you it is a full throttle fantasy gear set and this kind of stuff is to be expected Expected. Now moving on to the mount, it's called the Fire Drake and we're not flying around on a dragon here but if it did have wings I don't think it'd be too far off one to be fair and I think this is one of those love it or you hate it kind of mounts along with this set but I really do appreciate the attention to detail even if it's not something that I'm going to seek out and the same thing here goes for the Raven, it's called a Drakeling and I just want to bring your attention to the additional detail on the wings, it's got a nice orange gradient finish so if you are collecting your Dragon Ravens in game you're going to have to add this one to your list and that's not all for this set surprise. Surprisingly, they've actually included some new tattoos, which actually, as far as tattoos go, they don't look too bad, even though I never actually see them in game. There is a lot of dragon iconography, as you'd expect, but on top of that, we do pick up a ship skin with the figurehead being quite a statement indeed. No settlement cosmetics, though, which I think is a good thing if you are going to buy this set, but I wouldn't be surprised that because of the tattoos and the naval skin, the price of this set in the Helix store is going to be somewhat increased and inflated, especially with that outrageous Ring of Fire spell as well. Well, but it doesn't stop there though because Peda and Ibsarp have been working hard for a 
Warriors again. They found the new Moonlight weapons with new abilities. So do click the bell icon so you can be the first to know what that's all about and when that video does drop. And additionally, if you actually have learned anything new or enjoyed the video, and only if you wouldn't mind, a very swift like down below it only takes a second of your time and it genuinely really helps me out. So thank you very much. Anyway, I just want to say another big, big thanks to Pedder and Ibsarp again for bringing us this first look and not having to wait. And I'm sure I'll catch you all in the Moonlight weapons video soon. Coffee is on me.